Hello everyone, Criticorn here, and thank you so much for joining me in another Star Citizen series I'll be starting up called The Colonel's Journal. Criticorn, why the cheesy pun? Where's the career series? Where's the ship review? I promise, don't worry, I'll be making all of those videos along with this series, but there are a lot of topics in Star Citizen that I wanted to talk about that are a little bit more off the cuff, along with also helping players in different aspects of the game as well. And just on one final quick note, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to all of you who helped push me out of my comfort zone. And while this new series is going to be shaped and molded largely due to all of you, which I'll explain later in the video, I just want to give a big thank you to all of you and I hope you enjoy this particular series as I take a different approach with it. So with all that said, let's begin the Colonel's Journal. And a one, and a two. A me, 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 me. Oh, hello everyone, Criticorn here. Thank you so much for joining me in the Colonel's Journal as we discuss the very first and I think one of the most important topics within Star Citizen, and that's going to be friends. Now I know right off the bat a lot of you are probably rolling your eyes going, Criticorn, how boring, how dull, why don't you talk about capital ships? They're exciting, they make things explode. And while I do go to bed seeing capital ships circle around my head as I try and go to sleep, I want to make this video because my heart goes out to players who really can't find anybody to play Star Citizen with. Now, while my overall approach is going to be pretty obvious and come as no surprise to you, as I simply say you're going to want to join a Star Citizen organization, and I'll cover the website and show how you can go about doing that in a bit. I also want to share a couple of personal ways I've gone about doing this in the past with other games to help you find the right organization and the right people to play Star Citizen with. Now, one of the most interesting things that a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of Star Citizen organizations are not actually playing Star Citizen right now. But of course, I don't mean that they don't play Star Citizen outright. Of course they do, and there's going to be plenty of players to chat with and banter with about about Star Citizen as the game further develops, but there's a lot of already fully developed games out there that a lot of us players play it's to simply just pass the time while we wait for the big day when Chris Roberts comes out of his chocolate factory and lets us all in to play Star Citizen. Of course, until that day comes, joining a Star Citizen organization right now, which I also personally believe is the best time to join because you'll be able to find friends that play the exact same games that you do, will help you form relationships with these other players and end up strengthening your gaming relationship once the Star Citizen game is finally released and by this point you'll understand each other's strengths and weaknesses and what levels of enjoyment you get from the different mechanics within the game. Another great reminder is that while maybe one or two organizations might require that you actually own Star Citizen before you apply to them, there's a lot of organizations out there that would be happy to let you join if you simply share the same enthusiasm and excitement for the game as they do. And just a helpful hint, even though it might seem obvious, make sure that you have a gaming microphone or headset so you can introduce yourself to all the different players in the organization. Even if you're a quiet gamer who doesn't really want to say too much, just go ahead and share that with the organization and they'll be happy to point you out to the players who have that same kind of play style that you do. Now when it comes to using RSI's main organization search engine, which I'll leave a link in the video description, you'll be able to look at all the different organizations within Star Citizen. And what's really cool is the refined search, where you'll be able to look for the different features that you're looking for in an organization, whether they be casual gamers, regular or hardcore, maybe they role play, maybe they're smaller or large in size of player base. And maybe there's organizations that you want to work with that only do exploration, or maybe piracy, or smuggling. And while I highly suggest making a registered account so you can apply to all these organizations directly, you actually don't have to be registered at all to use this feature, and some organizations actually have a private website where you can apply to them directly. Now just a quick friendly reminder, if you do end up feeling like the organization you applied to isn't a good fit for you, don't be afraid to share that view with the organization. Most friendly organizations would be happy to wish you well and recommend maybe another organization organization that would be a better fit for you. What's even cooler still is once the Star Citizen game is released, if you end up bumping into one of your old organizations, your two organizations might end up forming a great alliance just because of your old affiliation. The more the merrier, the bigger the fleet to dominate the galaxy. Now since the topic of this video is about making friends, I thought I'd go ahead and be a little more personal in this video and share a little dirt moment that I experienced recently. Now while I was looking through the RSI website, I decided to click on the CitizenCon event happening in Los Angeles. I'll be honest, I don't know too much about CitizenCon. I know that they reveal some big updates that are going to be coming out for Star Citizen, but apart from that, I really don't know too much about these kinds of events. When I clicked on the event I found out it was being hosted in LA, I thought, well this might be fun, I could make a video for all of you who enjoy my videos, put together some footage and talk about the really cool events. Then I started getting really excited thinking, it's close by, I might go, this is going to be really neat, woohoo! So as I scrolled through the website and decided to go buy a ticket, I thought, I'm going to be one of those cool YouTubers that gets to do- Aww. Okay, I won't be one of those cool YouTubers, so I hope you guys forgive me while I don't go to CitizenCon this year, but I promise I'll be a little more diligent and try to be on top of my game and get a ticket for next year and show some footage to you guys. But not all news is bad. 
Recently, my channel had a 2,000 subscriber benchmark pass, and I want to celebrate that with all of you guys. And while I'm still learning the finer points of YouTube on how to afford and have those large, luxurious giveaways, I still want to have a small giveaway and also host it in a unique way where I get to learn a little bit more about all of you. Now, if you would like to enter the giveaway, it's going to be free for anybody. All you have to do is click on the link down below that will direct you to the Facebook page where I'll be hosting the event. You're then going to go ahead and submit a photo of something you enjoyed, whether it be a picture of your favorite movie that you like to watch. Maybe you enjoying your hobby, hanging out with your favorite person or your pet. Maybe you playing Star Citizen yourself. Anything goes as long as it's family friendly. Of course, one of the catches is that it has to include a piece of corn in the photo. It can be in the foreground or background. It can be real corn or maybe an image. And while I'd prefer if you veer away from Photoshop, as it would be fun to see everybody be creative, any photo will be accepted as long as there's corn in the photo to show that you're a true Colonel. The contest will be held on October 7th and then ending on October 16th. And I'll announce a winner at the end of the month. I'll be choosing one of the photos at random and be awarding the winner a basic starter ship and the Star Citizen game package all together. Of course, I'm not sure how this is going to play out. It's just kind of a mini beta test to see if I can get to know you all a little bit better. I enjoy meeting people through games, and it's actually something that has led me to make some of my best friends through just playing different video games throughout the years and getting to know each other, and then actually getting to meet up in real life and hang out. It's just something I really enjoy, and it makes playing games so much fun for me personally by making making new friends and meeting new people. And of course, while Star Citizen's still going to be in the development phase well into next year, I think it's going to be really cool and exciting once it gets closer and closer to its release date, as we all have really cool adventures and really exciting stories that have happened to us. I'm going to be sharing some of those experiences with you on this series, but I'd really love to involve all of you as well. And as the game gets closer and closer to the release date and a lot of you start getting to go out into the verse, it'd be really fun and exciting, at least I think for me, to be able to share your stories on this particular series, whether it's through video screenshots, or just having a really cool story read off. So with that said, I hope this video serves its purpose, as I made it for all those kinds of players out there who really couldn't get any of their friends interested in Star Citizen, or maybe just don't really have that many gaming friends in general and have a tough time trying to do so. Remember that you can join any of these organizations and you don't need Star Citizen. While we're all playing other games right now, you can form these great relationships with these other players and just have a great time. And with big organizations, there's going to be plenty of different kinds of players who who have different kinds of play styles and you'll all congregate together into your own little groups and you're just going to have so much fun once Star Citizen is released. And that's the reason that I made this video just to help all of you out there because if you don't have any friends to play with and you really want to hang out with a big group, I actually just feel horrible for you. So this is why I made that video. So go ahead, check out all these different organizations. The Star Citizen community is really one of the friendliest communities that I've ever met. Everyone's really helpful, always helpful to answer any questions and lend a helping hand in any way they can. So I hope you guys check out that link I left in the description. I'd also like to take this moment just maybe to address a couple of things that just really didn't fit in any of the other videos as they were more personal. And while I don't want to turn this series into about me, myself, and I, me, 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 I just want to go ahead and address a couple quick things for you real quick. One of them just to share my appreciation. The other is a commonly asked question, and that's if I have any plans of starting my own organization. While I really would love to, because it's just so cool that you guys think you'd like to hang out with someone like me who's just cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. I just don't have the time to run an organization right now. So unfortunately, that answer is going to be no. But thank you so much for asking me, guys. I really appreciate the fact that you do think you want to hang out with me. Hey, you'll regret it when you do. But I just really think that's really cool. So thank you so much for asking me. I also real quickly just want to touch base on my YouTube uploading schedule. While many of you haven't noticed, or maybe you have and haven't said anything, I have to give you a big debt of gratitude for putting up with my inconsistencies from time to time. While I do try and make at least one video a week for you, which even that I'm sure isn't satisfying enough for you, while most big Star Citizen YouTubers are uploading at least three, four videos a week, which I wish I could do for you guys, you know, time permitting with the two different jobs, it just isn't there. So thank you so much for forgiving me for those lapses when they do come around and not saying anything. That makes you the coolest YouTubers ever. I hope you enjoy this series and I hope to see you in another episode of The Colonel's Journal. Mm -hmm.